Hey, Good Fox here with the Mutt Monitor. Today we're gonna go through the news promos, players, top Reddit posts, top YouTube videos, top Mutt head posts of the week, uh, starting, I don't know, from last Tuesday till this Tuesday. All right, so on Madden Mobile, they released CFL Legends. So we hope to get them onto, you know, the regular Mutt. I don't know if this is just a promo, there's been speculation that it's just for mobile only, but we got Joe Theismann, Jeff Garcia, Mike Vanderjack, Doug Flutie, and Warren Moon. A lot of quarterbacks there and a kicker. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're, so that's a pretty neat promo that they brought for us and, and mobile if you have the game. If not, let's hope the console also gets the same players because it would be pretty fun to play with little Doug Flutie doing a little uh, Hail Mary shenanigans. Anyways, all right, the Great Mutt turnaround also happened this week. You know, they gave us a place to get rid of the NAT players even though, you know, there was a lot of controversy with that set originally. EA has really shown that they're looking forward, uh, listening to us players and uh, updating the solar awards. The gauntlet came out that we talked about last week. They gave us those great solar awards. It's followed up this week with the BCA solos, which we'll get to in a little bit. But generally, a lot of people around this community, it, it has been a very big turnaround in attitude. The way people are talking about EA and how they're listening to us. Very impressive. We got the patch too. I will list. I will uh, link the full patch in the description. It's on Facebook if you guys have that or can access that somehow. Uh, but the highlights, the add all to set. A long one and feature, um, you can event, add every available card to set without having to go through them all manually. Uh, it's now easier to accomplish this and to have a good time doing it. Basically, finish sets so you don't have to spend minutes doing it yourself. Auto subs and mutt solo channels are now working correctly. There was some fatigue glitches issues with the way team and your running back would never sub out. I had that happen quite frequently so you'd always have to remember to do it yourself. Um, you should be subbing out your running back frequently though. Address the issue where the filters in the auction house would disappear. That one's more annoying. You just have to back out and go back in. Uh, quality of life improvement there. Tune wide receivers dropping wide open passes would be less frequent. Has Have you guys noticed them dropping off? Oh, still noticed a couple drops. Uh, variety of defensive run game tuning fixes. Run game. I've played since this patch is live and the run game is still very strong. Um, fixed an issue around clock running out on a defensive penalty. Great. So those people that uh, did those end of uh, game shenanigans with blocking a... Field goal are now um, punished or not rewarded for it. Fixed issue with a QB unable to tackle after throwing an interception. I did notice it happened again to another player. I think I watched JL do it on stream today. Nano detection, or was that yesterday? Nano detection system disabled for user versus CPU games. Um, that's okay, so you can blitz the CPU. Pump block man, hopefully that's back working. Tune wide receiver defensive positioning and streak routes. I heard the swerve glitch is still in the game though, so. I don't know what that ha really had to do. Maybe defensive backs were in the wrong position for regular streaks. Tuning and adaptive AI to linebacker fake out chances versus counter plays to make defensive reaction better. Great. I had a video on the channel about why counters were so OP this year. They just overreacted to them, the fake out on the running back instead of following the guards like they should have. Uh, decreased nearby player penalty for defender interceptions. Uh, hopefully that does make interceptions more frequent and less drops because everybody hates those drops and these interceptions. Um, they also updated head-to-head -head rewards. I'll link the tw uh, tweet on it. Um, let me know what you guys think on that. Generally, it's it's okay. It still makes you pay coins to get coins. So they're not as good as if it was free. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. There's a, we'll talk about that a little bit later with the Mudhead uh, p post of the week. Uh, BCA was launched. Defense first with offense launching on the 14th. Surprisingly, it was a well-liked promo. A vast change from 16 and 15 BCA and really 16's promo in general. Uh, they were not thought of very highly. The great pack odds. People have been talking about how packs have gotten better. You get more elites out of them. So the price of the heroes become very obtainable in the BCA set because people are pulling elites and the solos. There's been a ton of positive feedback for EA this week, and having a promo that's widely praised just adds more to the EA hype train. Every elite player released in the BCA defense looks solid, except, you know, Jerry, who he was sucked. Generally, defensive ends in the 4-3 aren't very good. Uh... You know, I don't love Malcolm Butler's block shed, but Richard Sherman, Eric Berry, Muhammad Wilkerson, Sean Lee, and Wesley Wildyard all have decent to great stats. So that's a good job, EA, creating those players, creating hype around the players. The sets allow you, except for Richard Sherman's speed too, the sets allow you to trade in 10 silvers for a gold, 10 golds for an elite, and every player in the set for BCA master Richard Sherman. If you want to see gameplay on him, check out the description uh, for a video that I did with him. Like I said, a very popular promo. Let's hope EA hears us and our satisfaction with BCA and they keep up the good work through the year. EA had a hurricane but still came in through with Legends content. We got Steve McNair and Jack Youngblood. Again, if you want to see the Steve McNair in action, check them out in the description. I also have a review, a full review on McNair that I did with him, the 48-hour version. 
Um, I don't think I'll be picking up Youngblood because, in my opinion, he doesn't do too much better than Curse. Um, but we keep getting Legend Packs every weekend. Is that the move forward for EA? Do they want cheap Legends edging out their other cards released through promotions like Team of the Week, Football Outsider, and BCA? Uh, that's to be seen. Friday Night Drafts are now going on today. They were pushed back from Friday due to the Hurricane. 94 overall Julio Jones is available through the Milestone set. In addition, we got the new Milestone players, more Team Heroes that you convert to Auctionable Elite, which, which is nice. Again, um, t take a look. We'll talk about it in the Reddit threads um, on a way to make money off of these, or coins off of these Milestone players. Um, but we got new flashbacks with Matt Forte and Clay Matthews. Need to look great. Although Clay does have good hit power. I still don't understand the flashback promo. Why is Clay Mash Matthews flashing back to last year? Why not earlier in his career? Traditionally, they do, don't do multiple flashbacks of a player. So why did they decide last year was the year to flash back to? Anyways, we got Football Outsiders last Friday. Cameron Hayward looks like a really good 3-4 left at 92 block shot, 92 power move. None of the other players look particularly interesting to me. All right, let's get on to the Reddit threads of the week. The first one, PSA, you can change the weather for defensive BS, uh, BCA solos. So that way you can you know change settings to snow to make uh, defensive gauntlets easier. The next one um, was a breakdown of head-to-head -head rewards compared to SC and DC. We'll get to that uh, Sahara Joe's breakdown on Reddit. We'll get to uh, talking about Rocket's breakdown a little bit when we can talk about Mudhead. The next one is I just failed the BCA solo and it gave him the rewards. There seemed to be a glitch with them. Whereas even if you failed the solos, it gave you the rewards. Uh, the next one had some tips for the gauntlet challenges. Basically, a uh, good like five bullet, four bullet points of things you can do to gain rushing yards and uh, other things, etc. Take a look at it if you're having trouble with them. All right, YouTube videos of the week. Texas Boy did a face reveal on Victionary's channel. Pretty crazy that he didn't do it on his own yet. I think he's waiting for 50,000 subscribers. So Victionary did it for him. Pretty interesting stuff. Go tell Texas what he looks like. Uh, check out Zan's Forward Progress Madden channel. Uh, the next two videos. He had two great vids this week that explain zone coverage concepts in detail. Just a generally very educational channel. Um, I'll link both in the description, obviously. All right, next is the top Mudhead post of the week, courtesy of the Crayons Melt. What is going on, guys? This is the Crayons Melt here. The first one, Rockets talked about he was wrong about the new head-to-head -head structure and the uh, rewards for it. He talked about why EA, you know, matching up players based on skill with a a 10 win, 2 loss type structure is a bad idea. A lot of the rewards going to the top few percentage of the players where the rest of us have to play equal skill and we win 50% of the time means the rewards in the end don't match out to what they used to be or what they could be, what they should be. All right, next one, Crayons, self-promotion. I'd like to give a shout out to the newest member of the comment club. Crayons breaks down pack odds for percentages each overall is pulled. He got it from a bunch of YouTubers. Elites seem to be hovering around 6.6%, which is a big up from what that used to be, which is 0.0% for my packs. Um, and moving on to the next, that's a little bit of uh, sarcasm. The next Mudhead post, does it bother you when other people buy packs is the name of the post. Uh, this is from Crayons. This person complains about people spending money on Mutt, um, but this person has not played Mutt Men 17 at all. And but spends hours on Mudhead complaining about Madden and EA. He made a post about asking about people if they're bothered by other people spending money on Mutt. Forty-one point three percent of people pick the option. It's just money. Who cares? Is that your feelings? Let me know in the comments. All right, last post from Mudhead. All day, every day, twelve on the most ridiculous way of earning seventy-two k per day. Take a look at that. Um, it's a pretty interesting post. All right, looking forward. BCA offense is obviously coming. We're gonna get new legends this weekend and more. Um, pretty crazy time in Mutt. Pretty great. Everybody's pretty excited. Head to head is back. It's challenging again, of course, because we're all getting matched up against equal skill players, and a lot of the best players are playing head to head now since the rewards are so good. But anyways, that is it. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I will see you tomorrow.